scientists successfully sent a particle back in time. So is human time travel next? This is by Higher Perspectives on WD. What is time? Well, that's a good question that may be impossible to answer because time may not even exist. It's mostly an illusion or a concept we've come up with to make sense of the world around us. Science keeps trying to make sense of the universe and experiment with how much control we have over it. Every new discovery defies the laws of physics that we have relied upon so far. Most recently, the arrow of time that we assumed we experienced may be put into question. Scientists have just proven that time travel is theoretically possible, and here's what that means for the world as we know it. Time travel in fiction? Up till very recently, time travel was nothing but a concept of science fiction meant to activate our imagination and entertain us. The idea of time travel dates back to the 1800s, when Wells published The Time Machine, a story about an inventor who builds a device that travels through uh, a fourth temporal dimension. But what if time travel did not just exist in the world of fantasy? This is a question that scientists are trying to answer at the risk of attempting to unlock a phenomenon not meant for our species. If the movies are right, the price to pay could be lethal if we really do damn a manage to find out how to travel in time. For all we know, we could rewrite the whole story. You and I might never exist. Before we jump the gun, here's what we know so far. Time in real life is not a physical concept. Thanks to some history-making scientists, we've made strides in our understanding of the universe and making, th making of things. For instance, Einstein's equations brought us into the quantum realm and a more nuanced view of time. But mathematical logician Kurt Gödel took it one step further and worked out that Einstein's equations allowed for time travel into the past. The problem was there was still no found method that was compatible with our physical grounds. The answer to that was, why stick to physical grounds? This was a question that inspired scientists from the Argonne National Laboratory, the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, and ETH Zurich. This was how they successfully sent a particle back in time. They said there's no past, present, or future. Because of the laws of gravity and physics in general that we've imposed and taught in school, we consider time as linear with no way to access the past and no way of fast-forwarding into the future. However, this is not an always agreed upon statement. There are laws of physics that don't distinguish the future from the past and say that they all operate at the same time. This goes against the second laws of thermodynamics, which states that a closed system always moves from order to disorder. And if that did not make sense, it's basically saying that once you fry an egg, you can't revert it back to the closed initial egg. Time moving in a single direction. Because of that second law of thermodynamics, we assumed that time was linear and always moving forward. We called this the arrow of time. This means that once you crack an egg, it's irreversible, and like an arrow released, time moves in a single direction, and we witness the effect as time. That's why our human-made system of understanding time as moving forward works, but some laws are meant to be broken. Could this be one of them? Testing time itself, we trapped ourselves by the second law of thermodynamics. It made sense for the way that we experience the world, and however, it would, did not answer all of the questions. That's why an international team of scientists wanted to see if the second law could be broken in the quantum realm. Keep in mind that quantum computers don't work as simply as a computer you're reading this on, you're hearing this from. While traditional computers work with a binary system of 1 or 0, a quantum computer uses a basic unit of information called a qubit, where both 1 and 0 exist simultaneously, and this helps it process information much faster. In their experiment, the researchers substituted qubits for particles. The quantum process, if you're interested in the details, the first step involves making sure the qubits were ordered so that Whatever happens to one affects all the others as well. And secondly, they launched an evolution program 
on the quantum computer, which uses microwave radio pulses to break down that initial order into more complex state. And the third step moves them again, this time rewinding the particles to their past, orderly selves. In simpler terms, this is the equivalent of pushing against the ripples of a pond to return them to their source, according to a study author, Valerie Vinokur. We jump through time. Quantum mechanics is about probability, so nothing in it is ever guaranteed. Still, however, the algorithm managed to jump time 85% of the time, and that's considered consistency. However, every time they tried to increase the number of qubits to three, the success rate dropped to about 50%. The researchers published the results in scientific reports. Human time travel is not happening anytime soon, according to the scientists. Unfortunately, despite this leap in science, we can't all just jump in time and time machine just yet. This experiment shows us that sending a particle back in time is possible, but that it takes an incredible amount of work and outside manipulation, considering that humans hold around seven octillion atoms or particles, there's still a lot of room for advancement with this research. We demonstrate that time travel, time reversing, even one quantum particle is an unsurmountable task for nature alone, the study author Vinokur wrote. The system comprising two particles is even more irreversible, let alone the eggs comprising billions of particles we break to prepare an omelette. The secret of the universe? As of now, everything is still up in the air. Whether we will make it to a point where we can time travel is possible, but unlikely, at least not in our lifetime. And according to the press release, the timeline required for an external force to spontaneously appear and probably manipulate the quantum waves to appear in nature and unscramble an egg would extend longer than that of the universe itself. And this is on higher perspective on WND. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.